have an announcement that I want to make this morning. Um, Kids Crusade begins next Sunday evening at our church. Next Sunday evening, July the 12th through the July 15th, and our time will be at 6 o'clock. There is a meeting for those that are going to be helping with the Kids Crusade Thursday evening at 7. So there's several people that have signed up to be helpers. Uh, I see that there's several families that aren't here. If you know somebody has signed up uh, and you can pass that word on to them, they'll know to come at 7 o'clock. And we also need some candy donated, uh, small and large. So um, sometimes you give bigger prizes depending on what is happening. If you have something like that that you would like to give, please just drop that off at my wife's office. And um, there are some announcements in here that have to do with this week, but I'll let you look those up on your own. Amen? Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good. Yes, He is. And He's faithful. Yes. And we can trust Him. Yes. And we can trust His Word. Yes. Amen? Yes. Let's bow our heads. Precious Heavenly Father, we thank you for each one who is here in your house today. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would touch our hearts. And may we bless yours at the same time. I pray, Lord, that you would encourage us so that as we go forth from these doors, O oh God, that we would minister to a world that is so in need of your truth and your love. In Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Uh, one last announcement. Um, we will not be having communion this morning. Usually we have communion the first Sunday of the month. Uh, but we're having a baby dedication this morning, so we're going to hold that communion service uh, off until next Sunday morning. Okay? God bless you. Back again. I didn't get very far. Yesterday we watched some fireworks. Anybody else watch fireworks? Anybody hear the fireworks? <laughs> if you live down where we do, wow. They just kept going off and going off and going off. And we were sitting out on our deck watching all the fireworks. And finally my wife said, this is too loud. Let's go inside. And right then I thought, we are not as young as we used to be. <laughs> so we went inside and uh, retired for the evening. But while we were sitting there, I told my wife, I said, you know, it's hard for me this year to celebrate what is happening in our nation when our nation is turning its back on God. And you see it in many ways. And Roy was talking to me this morning and he said, you know, it's been a long time that our nation has been turning its back on the Lord. A long time. Um, they first took prayer out of the schools and removed learning the scriptures in schools. They uh, now push abortions and have legalized that. So what is happening is it just, it's not such a big shock that we can't imagine that it would happen, but it's sad. But when you think about things like that, just because there are sad things in the world doesn't mean that God doesn't have a plan. It doesn't mean that he's not in control. And we don't rejoice in iniquity. But we do rejoice anyhow. The Bible says rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. And so we have a lot to be rejoicing in. Uh, we're not called to be sad people that, that's, a, that's ashamed and, and hangs our head down and mopes and gropes. No. We rejoice. Amen. Taste and see that the Lord is good.
trying to think which Christian it was. It was uh, maybe, I don't know, one of the early church fathers. He said, I believe in the sun when it does not shine. And he said, I believe in God when I don't see him. I was talking to Brother Becker this morning. His wife is out of the hospital. For those of you that don't know, uh, she went, she had fallen sometime earlier um, off of a truck. And when they, she, she was home and she wasn't getting any better, she went to the doctor and they ended up admitting her to the hospital because she broke her back in two ribs. And so um, she got home and Brother Becker was telling me a little bit this morning, he said, you know, I don't always bring up everything that happened. He goes, but several years back, the Lord healed me of colon cancer. He said, and I never had any treatments. He said, God just healed me. Praise the Lord. He said, and this time, God hasn't healed my wife instantly, but I know God is good. Amen. And it's true. God is good. Amen. And he's faithful. Yes. Hallelujah.
Cherry Park is one that's standing very, very well for
Like this morning in Sunday school, I'm not his contract child. I'm his covenant child. Amen. At this time, our children are dismissed to meet GMC.